How's it gaming? I'm filling the blanks and welcome to Lilo and Stitch for the Game Boy Advance. And you know what the Game Boy Advance could do that I don't think a lot of people knew? Run full motion video at an absolutely terrible quality, but it can do it. And that's your proof. All right, Lilo and Stitch for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, this is a surprise to me. I knew that there were a couple Lilo and Stitch games. Uh, I had never played them. I'd never looked into them. And then I looked at this and I was like, hi, I beat this in an hour. Checked it out. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And uh, let's just jump in there right quick and see this kind of unique story. I don't know if this is based on an episode of the show or anything like that, but these are really cool looking graphics. So I feel like it's from something. I don't know. Hey, yay, sand lava monster. I love the one Stitch. <laughs> uh, hey, where are you taking me? Let me go, Stitch, help. They're just grab her. They look like otters. I think they're otters. Oh, there we go, we're starting. So yeah, what is this game? It is Metal Slug for Kids. And yeah, it is a Contra style shoot 'em up where I just keep getting hit in the face. Uh, we play as, as Stitch and sometimes Lilo, uh, though Lilo doesn't get a gun. Uh, and the Stitch levels are very Metal Slug. It even has the like helicopter kind of enemies that shoot down. It's crazy. It is also absolutely brutally difficult. Um, it took a little while to, to kind of get used to this game. Uh, and it, it's like any other Metal Slug or Contra game. It's all about knowing how enemies work and where they are. Thankfully, you do have multiple hits. Dang. These little guys only take one hit, but some of the other things, like the pineapple grenades, will not take two hits. But the game is very easy to, to die. Uh, it's also got like a very weird graphical style. I like these sprites, but the backgrounds are very... I don't know what it is. They, they look good. Like, they're just very detailed, and they almost look like they don't belong with the sprites, if that makes any sense, but yeah, the game is a run-and-gun shooter that follows the story of Stitch uh, trying to rescue Lilo from, I guess, some otter aliens. Like I said, I don't know if this is based on the cartoon at all, because there was a Lilo and Stitch cartoon and multiple movies. I've only seen uh, the first Lilo and Stitch movie. Here's our first little mini-boss. we got upgraded weaponry and ammo count the top there. And your upgraded ammo is the only kind of upgraded ammo you get. It is very powerful. I can kill, like, these little regular enemies in one hit, which is nice. Uh, and you do get a lot of them. These guys are sucky. They throw pineapples at you. And uh, pineapples are your grenades, which is kind of cute. So I have, like, nine of them. And once I get this little bubble, all ten. I tend to try to keep them for, for, like, the bigger enemies. But sometimes it's just good to hit things that are in the way. And we also got a small little picture photograph thing. You can get, like, uh, images. and Like, there's a gallery you can open up and... Uh, other little parts of the movies or the show, again, I don't know. Uh, we're not going to go unlock those. We're not trying to find them. There we go. Get you. But, uh, yeah. No, I had no idea this game kind of existed as, as a shooter. I guess it makes sense. I mean, Stitch does have little cute ray guns in the movie. So it's like, sure. I guess. And it looks like none of these guys are dying. They're just like, they fall down with little stars around their heads, but... Yeah, no, it's 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 very difficult. Uh, enemies shoot really quickly. Bosses can be really unfair. Uh, but I appreciate the game in that sense. It's, it's kind of neat. Did I get you? Just in case. There we go. You're dead. Nope, over the acid. For some reason, it's acid. Very, very cute, like, elevator music, too. Ooh, that was close. I can't believe that didn't actually land me in the lava. Or not lava. Acid. Ha! Big shots now. See, one shot. Bam. When you shoot normally, uh, Stitch will shoot four shots, but if you cancel the animation with, like, a duck or a jump or turning around, you can stop it at one shot. So if you're trying to kind of save a little bit of ammo, that's the thing you can do. Yeah, jeez, it's so powerful comparatively. Well, are you, there you are. Are you coming back? It's not a super long game. There are only, like, seven stages or so. Uh, but I like how every stage kind of throws a little bit of something different at you. It's not all just, here's Metal Slug, over and over and over again. Uh, which would be fine for, like, an arcade game. But in this, it's like, it's not as deep or as fun as a Metal Slug game, the, and there's not a, a huge variety of enemies. So having a variety of gameplay styles kind of makes up for it. Pretty neat. A lot of this first level is very much, ooh, yeah, take these guys out fast. They get hit hard. They, yeah, they take, they take a lot of hits. Jeez. Okay. Um... Yeah, the first level is very much just walk, walk forward, and there's these grenade guys. Damn. Uh, be very careful whenever you see those kind of rocks. They're 
probably one right behind a rock there, so you just want to be careful. Because those things will take two hits off you. And you actually have more than three hits. Uh, it says three, like, little life bar, but you can run out, and then you'll have one more hit. But the grenades will kill you in two hits, so be very careful. But like most shoot 'em up arcade-type games, when you do die, uh, you start right there. It's not like a checkpoint system. You just start exactly where you left off. So that's definitely good. And there are a lot of lives in this game. You get a lot of them, so... And really, it's just the Lilos... Or, sorry, the Stitch levels that are fairly difficult. The rest of the game is not too, too bad. So that's good. I don't even know what that thing in the background is. I think it's like... I don't know. I guess it's rocks? The uh, the uh, color is very wonky. Looks like it's a large creature. <laughs> that's just me. Those are little pink panthers, don't they? We're snaggle pusses. We're taking over the universe, even. I can't do a snaggle puss voice. Does anyone even remember snaggle puss? One of those forgotten Hanna Barbera characters. Yeah, stay away from them. Oof. Careful to the cloud, the explosion cloud. You really have to dissipate before it doesn't do damage to you. Ooh, okay, that was actually pretty good. That must have been like frame perfect almost. Keep away from me. That's a life. Thank you. I'm really uh, using up my pineapples, man. That's okay. The first boss is a bit cheap, but I can do them without too many pineapples. Oh, we're coming up to it. There's a spaceship. Come on, give me more pineapples. No. no! There he is. Hey, you stupid head, Lily Lugo. She belongs here with her family. It's not stupid, how dare you. Too late, shrimp. She's been sent to the mothership, and I'll make sure you don't follow. I am a pirate. Maybe I should talk like this. No, Stitch will make sure you don't hurt anyone else, and then Stitch is going to get Lilo back. There we go. It's great look, though. Flourishes his hat and stuff. He only has two attacks. One is the hook. The hook itself won't hurt you, and you can see he doesn't hurt you either. Uh, but the jump animation will hurt you, and the like fire animation when he lands will hurt you. Ooh. And his um, when his claw chain thingy uh, lights up on electricity, that will hurt you too. Ooh, one more hit. I'm dead. That's okay. Like I said, you 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 start where like if I die here, he doesn't gain his life back. You just continue on, just as if you pumped in another quarter or something. She's almost dead though. Should be okay. I don't know. There, ooh, there we go. Gotcha. You suck. I just unlocked a movie clip. Good for me, I guess. Goodbye, ugly head. Now Stitch will go and find Lilo. I know how to fly the ship. It's just perfect for Stitch. Don't worry, Lilo. Stitch always rescues his family. Aww. I love the Lilo and Stitch movies. Uh-oh, where am I? This looks like my home, but it feels wrong. So yeah, now you play as Lilo, and her animation is incredible. But here we go. Use these kind of things. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Whoop, teleported. And her levels are kind of like Prince of Persia meets like out of this world. Or another world uh, to my European audience, if I, if I have any European audiences. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit of a thing. You can attack with Lilo, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, there are times there's giant mosquitoes. Like, there's a little mosquito following around, it looks like. Oh, not anymore. Now they got big ones. They got to smack them. Smack them with my ugly doll thing. There we go. But her animation is incredible. Hello! You'd think that's a bad guy, but that's a good guy. Lilo, the spaceship is a giant bug laboratory. You must find a way to escape. Who is the bump? And apparently that, I don't understand how this transition worked, but whatever. Let's look around. It's, it's, is it pretty cute? I don't know what those things do, but I don't need any life, so. Ooh, let's get a life. I don't need any health is what I should have said. But yeah, her animation is incredible. Oh, let's do the, let's see the, the climbing animation. Look at this, look at this. Is that look, oh my gosh, it's so good. That's why it reminds me of Prince of Persia, or like those um cinematic platformers. Those kind of games. Blackthorn, Prince of Persia, out of this world. <laughs> you just hide. I love it. The animation's so good. It's so good. We got a little door puzzle. And boink. We need that one first. So for the other room. Whoops. And yeah, there we go. That door would have been shut down there if you didn't hit that first one. Yeah, so you don't need to attack the aliens. You really only need to attack the mosquitoes. But I guess are also aliens. Careful of these guys. Oof. Uh, if you find one sleeping, you can sneak past them. Here I'm just going to... It's awake, so I'm not going to sneak past. I'm just going to hide. Aha. And here I'm going to sneak past the tiptoe. Jeez, that fluid animation. 
Looks so good. But they'll capture you in a bubble and they'll just start the whole level over again. It's very frustrating. So, other than that, it's actually quite easy. Uh, the Lilo stitches are a nice break from the stitch stages uh, and are fairly simple. Um, Prince of Persia's type puzzles, but for, for kids. I like that. I, I'd, I'd play a... F Maybe not a full game, but I'd play more levels with, with, with Lilo. I think they're fun. In here. Excuse me. You too, you... You remind me of something from, like, Toe Jam and Earl. Ooh, careful. I'm not gonna bother collecting the collectible. Ooh, whoops, wrong way. Just because, like, I don't know, they're movie clips. I don't care. I'm not showing those off. So, Boink. I love the buttons. Looks like she's just smashing her face into them. I don't really get that, but climb. Ooh, those are the bubbles I was talking about. Got to be careful. Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, let's hide over here. We'll get this photograph, and now we'll be able to kind of sneak. We're just gonna wait this out a little bit. I don't know if once they see you, they'll keep attacking you if I, if I try to hide. So I was like, let's leave the room, reset the character, that kind of thing. Same with you. I love this, like, run. So great. We're almost done, though. We're almost done the first level with Stitch. I mean, Lilo, sorry. But yeah, no, Lilo and Stitch, man. Great, great Disney movie, if you haven't seen it already. Uh, steeped in Hawaiian culture. Uh, like, modern Hawaiian culture, which is kind of neat. Um, it takes place, like, kind of in the present, which a lot of Disney movies don't do. Um... Uh, but it's, it's also just, it's got this gorgeous style to it. The backgrounds are all watercolor. It's, it is really heartwarming. It, it basically, if you haven't seen Lilo and Stitch, please go see it. Ow, I got bug zapped. Doesn't do very much damage though, even though I'm like a little girl. There we go. How am I ever going to get off the ship? I wish Stitch were here to help me. Whoops, wrong voice. For other prisoners, just like you freed me, they might be able to help you find a way home. That was it. That was the first level with uh, Lilo. Woohoo, here I come. This ship will get me to Lilo quick. Uh-oh, Stitch sees trouble ahead. And now we have, like, a Tempest-style level. If you haven't played Tempest, Tempest is an old, old, early 80s game uh, that was, like, an arcade game and came up for some consoles where the whole... Um, it, it's like a, like a big pipe, almost like you're playing an F-Zero game. You go all the way around, uh, and you just kind of have to survive. You don't really have to attack anything. Well, that's not true. There are certain enemies that you must attack. But for the most part, you can just avoid things, heal up your ship if you need to, avoid these things. Uh, keep in mind how things slow down as they approach you because uh, of the way like the faux 3D works because maneuvering around some of these like electrical bomb things uh, can be really really frustrating if you're not really really paying attention to their location to where your ship is. Now, that sounds kind of weird but if you play the game you'd understand kind of what I mean and what I'm talking about. Ship, thank you. Oh, I'm not getting out of the yeah, you're gonna get hit. Ah, oh, no! Darn it! Thankfully, they're, they're, they're pretty... Pretty liberal there with the, uh, the power-ups. Good, take these guys out. Ooh, shoot where they're going to be. There we go. What are you supposed to do with moving targets? It's any arcade game will teach you, especially Space Invaders. Life, thank you. I'm gonna start dying near the end of the game a lot, especially at the, like the last last level. So having those lives really gonna help. Me. Yeah, no, I like the idea that there's like three kind of main styles of play game. Pretty neat. Is that it? I think so. Yep, there we go. No death. Woo! There's the ship that took Lilo. Stitch is almost there. Oomph! Main stabilizer has been hit. Stitch has to crash land on that asteroid. Is that a narrator? Wake up, fella. You've been in a bad accident. Welcome to Scum, an asteroid junkyard. Your ship was totally destroyed in the crash. You might want to try looking for another ship at the disposal town. Be careful, though. The locals don't like strangers much. And yeah, we got a new little alien level. And, uh, I don't know, again, that guy looked like he was a fully formed character that wasn't just, like, a one-shot thing for a video game. So, again, I'm wondering if this is from the show. And now we got, like, our own little actual Metal Slug. I told you, this game is Metal Slug for kids, so there we go. We're probably not gonna have this thing for very long. Um, it, it will explode and die, and you have to do the rest of the level as Stitch, which is fine. Uh, this is a fairly difficult level, like all the Stitch levels are. Uh, but as long as you take it easy, these kind of weird camel-looking guys with the uh, with the staffs can't get that thing um, are fairly easy. They shoot a lot slower and higher than the little otter otter guys. So you gotta be careful. That's all. Really pay attention to where you are on the um, on the terrain because if you're going up a little hill there, you're gonna be more susceptible to shots at the enemies underneath you. These guys though, they are oof. That was good. They are very powerful, so just take them out quickly. They're basically the, the enemy tanks, so they have a lot of HP. Oh, that robot in the background looks so neat. There's a lot of visual, 
like coolness to this game. I don't know how to explain it. The, 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 the artistic style is very on point. Look at that, the hand there? That's fantastic. I'm, ah, no, I lost it. My slug is gone. Oh my gosh, is this gonna kill me? Oh my, yep, there we go. It's okay, you just drop from the sky. Just die. I love he's got the little stitch laugh. <laughs> stitch is such a little friggin' monster, I love him. He loves Stitch. He's a great little, little bugger. I remember when Lilo and Stitch was coming out, uh, when the movie was coming out to the theaters, and all the um, all the advertisements, all the commercials were, were scenes from other Disney movies, specifically Little Mermaid, uh, Aladdin, and maybe Beauty and the Beast, but I know the other two for sure. And like something would be happening, and then Stitch would come in and ruin the moment. Uh, it was really funny. I love their, their, their marketing for that. That was such a weird era of Disney. Emperor's New Groove, Lilo and Stitch, that type of stuff. Like, it was very unique for Disney. Treasure Planet, dude. I love Treasure Planet. I don't care what anyone says. It is one of Disney's biggest flops. I adore it. Maybe top five for me. Maybe I'll do like a top ten Disney. That'd be fun. I love Disney movies, the cartoons stuff. Pretty sure I've watched every animated Disney movie at least once. Yeah, pretty sure. Every Pixar one, too. And there we go. The climbing here is actually pretty easy, as long as you're just very careful. It's left to right, right to left. The most dangerous things are those little flying guys that shoot at the weird diagonal, and they almost look like uh, the guy from Alien Hominid. Well, right now he doesn't. When he dies, it's, oh, I was in the way. Let's kill this one, maybe we'll see it. You can't shoot through platforms. Ooh, I can't believe it didn't hit me. Yeah, there you go. He dies. It's like, um, I'm from a Flash game circa 2005 or something. That reminds me of anyways. Dang. You can't shoot. Well, it's crouchy. I just really want to get that. Thank you. I want lives. I want lives. Don't know if you can go above nine, but I've got, I've got seven now, so I'm doing fairly good. I've got one hit left, though. So I'm probably going to die unless someone drops a... There we go. Thank you. I have a tendency if I... I go like, hey, I hope I get some health, and then it's right there. Here's some more health, thankfully. The health packs will only give you, I believe, the I believe the pink ones only give you two. Uh, I think the blue ones might give you a full full health, but I, it might be the other way around for the colors. But one only gives you two. So those guys, oh my gosh, those like llama or camel guys. One hit from the shots is uh, two life bars for me. That's where the shot didn't come from. That was very weird. Come on, there we go. You get a decent amount of ammo with each ammo drop, but I like how it's not. It's not so much that you don't have to pay attention to your ammo count, but it's not so little that you just never want to use it. It's perfect. A really good amount. Because you get it enough, too, that you just, every time you get it, it's, it's, it's just a little bit of a power. It's not like, there we go, I've got so much. No, it's, it's like, I mean, you could. If you were speedrunning this game, you'd probably want to hold on to that ammo for bosses. But, like, just for the, ugh, I think it's so well. Um, just for the casual player, it's enough that it's like a nice jump in power without going crazy or something you want to like really, really hold on to for too long. All right, doing good. Doing really good, actually. Probably gotta get another death once we get some ammo. Nah, oh, I was gonna say, is, is it gonna happen? Shoot through the doors, just keep going. Oh, no, you're gonna follow me. You're just gonna keep following me. Uh, oh, help! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so the blue one's gonna be full. Now I know. I'm already getting hit like crazy, though. You hit a lot in this game, man. Take them out right away. Ooh, don't want to destroy that. Ah, no, I wasn't thinking. That's okay. Just get some enemies down here, but you can see up there I got some pineapples and some, uh, uh, some ammo. That's okay. The boss in this level, to be really honest, does not need pineapples. In fact, the first boss is really the best boss to use pineapples for. The rest are fine. Alright, let's get up there. A little bit of ammo. That's not, nothing crazy. Oh, no, no. I can't go back up there to get that life. Doing really well for lives. I've usually died like two or three times at this point. I've only died. I've died once, I think. Oh, right in the face. My goodness gracious, man. I blew another one. Oh, picture. No, that's fine. Unlockable. Do not care. Yes. Goo, goo, sticky, goopy goo. Gross. Do not like. Oof, oof, oof. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Kill them. Oh my gosh, that was really lucky. Use up some pineapples there. <laughs> there we go. Oof. 
Those guys will be really dangerous if you let them keep going for a while. Ooh, careful. Oh, glitched out the uh, color sprite there. There's a lot of enemies. Like I said, for, for little kids, if you're like six, you're like, I, I have a Game Boy Advance, I'm six years old. Like, this is a hard game. And down we go! You want my ship? Well, you'll take it over my oozing lack of skeleton. Alright. So, pretty easy boss. Just avoid, and then when it attacks you with its mouth, you can just shoot it like crazy. It doesn't even have a whole lot of life. Halfway dead already. Because, well, I mean, it helps that I have the, the crazy good ammo. That's probably why I really never need the pineapples here. Just about dead. Watch out. Woohoo! Looks great. And should be death here. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Bam. Stage 3 done. Go Stitch. Destroyer of Worlds. You can join Donald Duck. Ah, my ship. Come back with my ship. No. I do not want to. So, now we are... Uh, if I can find a radio, I can call S Stitch to help me. Lilo, I think they are keeping us as prisoners to feed the mosquitoes. What a random thing to think. The other pr prisoners could help you if you rescue them. So yeah, another Lilo level. Lilo level, Lilo level, Lilo level. Hard to say. And uh, we're going to rescue all these very large men. Alien things. And they walk around and make little openings for you, which is great. Or sometimes they'll destroy a guard, which is pretty cool. Oh, I guess it did not do much for me. Uh, I think I can go down? Yeah, there we go. Rescue you. Boink, boink. The friggin' backhand fist, like, painful. There we go. And that gets him out. Huzzah! Oops. There we go. Might as well get the photograph. It's right there. Go, Lilo. She looks so happy, too. Another backhand. Ow. Oof. Ooh, the walk. The sprite animation is just gorgeous. I think the funny thing is, I think Stitches is the worst in the game. For any of the playable characters and stuff. <laughs> I mean, there's not two playable characters, but you know what I mean. Like, everything else is really well animated. Stitch kind of looks kind of weird. I don't know. It's just me. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Houses look so weird to have little tunnels. Oof. Ow. It looks like, um, Grimace's house. From MC Kids. A little bit. Oh yeah, we have some anti-grav stuff here. Nope. There we go. Got the switch. Don't hit everything with my dolly. If you're not positioned really properly next to switches and stuff, yeah. Dolly smack. I mean, there's only so many buttons on the Game Boy Advance, so... And it's open. There we go. Whole little puzzle area. Love it. Hit this. Gravity switch. Whee! Pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. I like it a lot. Anything over there? No. Can't get the... It can't summon the elevator. Ah, jeez! Should have gone into this weird thing. Weird tunnel. It's so odd. I don't know if I have to sneak here, but I figured might as well. No, it looks like I don't. Okay, cool. Oops. Right across the button. Basically, hit a sw you see a switch, hit it. Or a, whatever these things are where I smash my face into it. Boink. That. Woo! Look at the animation! It's so good! So good! Up here, hit this. We'll try to do the fan. We're gonna take out this mosquito, though. Two hits. There we go. Up we go. So our ultimate goal right now is to hit the switch at the bottom. Come on, man. There we go. Now we have to go all the way back to the bottom. Because Lilo, being a seven or eight-year-old girl, can fall 40 feet without any fall damage. Everyone knows that. I'm assuming, I guess, maybe the gravity is better, but, like, she falls really fast. So I have no idea. Maybe it's just a video game and it feels overthinking things. That couldn't possibly be it. Ooh, careful. There are mosquitoes. For once, they're actually mosquitoes, not dragonflies. Like, I always call dragonflies in these, uh, in these last plays. Careful. Goodness gracious. Oh, that was close. More carefulness. Here we are. And we're there. Stitch, I'm having a great adventure, but I need your help. Stitch will be there as soon as... Lilo, look up behind you! Oh no! Lilo's in trouble. Stitch must find her fast. Uh-oh, more enemy ships are approaching! Another Tempest level. <coughs> These are usually the easiest. Just avoiding stuff, so it's again a nice rest from the stitch stages. Because from this point on, we're at the base of the last level, and it's just a giant stitch stage, which makes sense. Yeah, 
yeah, it really can just avoid a lot of things. I know they're coming up from behind you, so you're like, you never know. If, oh, I can't really dodge that. Uh, like, you might get hit out of just randomness, but, ooh, careful. But it's still not very difficult. Now it plays like, what is that game, Hexagon? It looks so badly all of a sudden. Take you guys out. Very easy to do so. Careful. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, that only gives me one uh, health boost. There we go. Hopefully we're fine. Music's really good there. It's really, uh, I don't know. Really jiving with it. Okay. Two. Three. Oh, three. Ah, no, 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 no. That was so dumb of me. Oh, my gosh. At least one of those lost. That might be. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Doing good. Ah, little girl. Or should I call you Mosquito Food? Jeez. You won't thwart my plot to genetically change mosquitoes into Mosquito Warriors. Ah, what's that? Urgh, sit you fool. You'll chase my. You'll cause my ship to crash. Ha ha ha. Hi, Dr. Pestis will release my horde of. Mosquito Warriors on you in this planet. And Lilo is the perfect hostage. Do not dare follow us. And now you're a stitch. Of course, of course you are. On like a big train, like thing, and we got these cool look at enemies, the mosquito or whatever they called them. Uh, enemies, they're fairly easy. They shoot directly below them when you get close to them, or not directly below. Sorry, like to the sides below them. So if you're if you are directly underneath them, you are safe, but they hit hard, so be very careful. This is a really long level. This is basically the last level. There are um, a lot of like little transitions and story beats to it, but this is basically the last level. Almost there. Should be good. It's fairly lengthy. Jeez, this guy's got so much life. Okay, good, that was good. Yay. Dang, these are these guys are the hardest enemy in the game, the pineapple guys. These guys are fine. Just stay below them and you're good. I don't know what that water stuff is. I guess that's the stuff that I don't know. Transforms the mosquitoes. I have no idea. But it does hurt um, Stitch in the later part of the level. Ooh, a lot of enemies. Whenever the screen stops scrolling, it's like kill a bunch of enemies before you're allowed to keep going. Oof, oh. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. There we go. They don't have a lot of life at all. They're just pesky, like mosquito. So that works actually quite thematically well. Thank you ton of ammo in this level, you can tell, too. Probably why they seem so weak, because there's just a lot of ammo. The fact that they take two hits of the big ammo means they probably take, like, six or seven hits of the bigger ammo, so. But there is just so much ammo. And a lot of pineapples, but they're not really worth it. The last boss really doesn't, um, you don't benefit a lot from having the, the, the grenades. It sounds weird. It's like, oh, is it just a more powerful big explosion? No, not for how you are in the last level, in that last, uh, Last boss, so. And I'm getting through this really easily. <laughs> this is easily the easiest part of the game for Stitch. This part, anyways. Once it. I think we're about to transition to the next area. Nope. Maybe. Grenade! 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 Ah, oof! Okay, well, never mind. Now I'm. Now I'm just a lying Let's Player. Said I could survive. You are useless as a hostage, Lilo. Time to squash you. Stitch, you worm, let go of my foot. Oomph. Quick, Lilo, run. We have to find a way home. Jesus, scary looking. And now we're running! Uh, Dr. Pestis, I think is his name? Great uh, look. His, his, his um, design is really neat. And again, those story beats look so well drawn and well done. Uh, like, they were physically drawn, not just done on the Game Boy Advance. So it leads me to believe this must be, like, part of the show, or might be one of the movies. But very cool. Careful. Run, Lilo. Ah, I got hit. Darn. So I am Stitch again. You can switch over like I did before, Lilo to Stitch, Stitch to Lilo. Stitch, for some reason, will be hurt by um, the weird, like, goo stuff. Uh, so I'm probably going to want to switch over, but I want to do it when I'm not being bombarded. Yeah, I don't know when's a good time, because I might always be bombarded, because I should have done it. Nah, I should have done it. Oh, whatever. We have to do it before I see one of those, um, one of those little pools, though, so just be very careful as I jump. There we go. 
I like, I like the fact that they a animated all that. But there we go. Stitch, or sorry, Lilo can go in these. Stitch will die immediately. Don't really know why, but there we go. Very easy little area. Just to keep running. Just feels like it goes on forever. Can't shoot. Ah, ah, darn. We, we should have plenty of lives, though. We're about to fight the last boss. Oh, we're getting there. Now we're just running on the track. Look how fast Lilo can run. Oh my gosh. There we go. And now, I, I don't understand why there's no transition, like, for the story beat. But now we have this cool little mech thing. Lilo's protected, and now Stitch is just going crazy. Um, if you use a pineapple, it's just shooting everywhere, which is fine for regular enemies, but it's not... It's not hard to hit them, so... And uh, you can go on the ceiling, as you can see, so... This whole little area is fairly simple. Still probably die once or twice, but... The last boss is... Dangerous? Just takes a long time. And you're probably gonna die a couple times, because, like... I think hitting his body is immediate death, so... Careful. Health, thank you. Not that I need it right there, actually. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay, well, I just died. Wow. You have, like, no invincibility time inside this thing. But at least we got a life there, too, so. <sighs> wow, I guess it has to... Oh, that hit. That's weird. Some of those hit, some didn't. That, that's the one of the big problems. It feels like... <laughs> it feels like you're never sure if you're getting hit or not. There's not, also not, like, just not a lot of feedback on your hits. You just look at your life, you're like, wait, when did I get hit? So, that's a bit of a problem. There is a Lilo and Stitch 2 for the Game Boy Advance that is also a shooter. Um, I don't know if it's any different to this one or if it's made by the same company or what. Uh, maybe it's made by the same company and they improved a lot. I would like to try it one day, though. Now that I know how fun this one is. Woo! Photograph. Good for me. Getting all these pineapples for no reason. Ew, and a life. Thank you. Eight lives. We're definitely... Fine for the last boss. That's good. We'll partake forever. Come on. Gotta be almost there now, eh? Feels it's just it feels that feels like it's just repeating the same area over and over again. Holy moly. Oh, I just noticed the life. Jeez, Stitch will make you pay for hurting Lilo. She's my family. Here we go, last boss. Hit him kind of in the chest slash crotch area. Uh, and just be careful how he launches those bombs. And always go to the other side of where he is going. Where he's gonna be coming from? That hit me, darn. Sometimes he, there we go. Sometimes he kind of does this. Look at, look at that. It looks. The design is super great, though. Very neat. Ooh, doing the bombs. Boom, 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 boom. He's got booby bombs. Oh no. As you can see, not super difficult, but he starts going really, really quickly when he's about halfway dead. Uh, and it's a shame that the pineapples don't do anything really good because they're just regular shots at a wider kind of area. It doesn't really do extra damage, and you can't move while you're doing it, so you're probably gonna die. Not super fun. Here. Oh, that counted. Apparently I died. Yeah. Darn. Oh, no, no. Getting hit straight up by him, though, I think is just death. So be very careful. Oh, careful. I can imagine kids getting here and not knowing you can climb onto the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, that actually... Oh, that, did I get hit? I can't even pay attention. Because there's no, unless you're looking at your life and know what your life was, which I'm not paying attention to, there's no feedback to you getting hit. So, it's halfway done, just about, so he's going to start speeding up pretty soon. Not yet. Maybe now, because I think he's past halfway. There he goes. Okay, so now he's a lot faster and thus a lot more difficult. Oof. You have very few chances to hit him, which is such a shame. Ooh, boy. Oh, jeez. Ooh! Kind of just try to get as many hits as you can. He does a lot that that kind of skating thing a lot more often too. Ooh, that's good. Yes, that one went off. Pretty good. Ooh, 
Oh, yes. Get that right angle. Five more little blocks of health. Ooh, four more little blocks of health. We're there. We're getting there. We can die plenty of times now. We'll be fine. Careful. Okay. Doing really good. Not hitting him as much as I'd like. Ah, no! Oh, I didn't hit him at all there. That sucks. There you go. Three. Three little bars of health. No, darn it. You can get some really good hits if you can line that up properly. I don't have the time anymore, it seems. Come on, Phil. You can do it. I mean, I know I can. You can die seven times, I'll be fine. Ah, dang. I'm getting such bad luck on that. Oh, well, bloom. We're dead. Two hits. Or not two hits. Two things. Ooh, one more. One more block of health. And I think you still need to hit him a little a couple more times. He has no blocks of health as well. Oh my gosh. Another death. Thank goodness for all those lives. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. There we go. He's on his last little bit. And... Was that it? Yay! I don't know why he comes from the, the, the side there, from the right, but yay! That was Lilo and Stitch. Let's do a dance. At least all my pineapples. Whee! I got, I got a, a movie clip. Yay. Lilo and Stitch, you have defeated Dr. Pestis and saved this planet. We are in your debt. Take the ship and have a safe journey home. Hooray. That's it? Can I have money? Give me money. I want money. Anyways, that was, yeah, that was Lilo and Stitch for the Game Boy Advance. A pretty fun little game. If I was a little kid during the Game Boy Advance era, I would have liked this game a lot. I think it was pretty fun. So I hope you were a little kid during that era, that you had to play it, or if you you know you had this, you had a good time, and got good at it, and maybe that got you into other shooters as you were growing up, I don't know. But yeah, Metal Slug for Children. Who would have thought? Great little game. That's why I honestly think you could do most genres for like, any age. You can do a first person shooter for kids. Absolutely. I mean, Yoshi Safari says hi. But yeah, no, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I think this just goes on for a little bit of time. But, hey, Disney Month is still going quite strong. We're getting about halfway there, I think. I think, I think. Not sure. But I certainly hope you guys are all enjoying it so far. Because I like, I like playing me some Disney games, especially ones I've never heard of. Because this one was a fun surprise. Very fun surprise for me when I found it. Yeah, that's impressive, actually. It doesn't look super great, but considering it's Game Boy Advance, very nice. There's a Game Boy Color that actually a game that has uh, a cinematic like that, too. I think it's Tarzan. Not a very good game, but it has an actual little cinematic y part. It's really, really weird. 2002 Disney. All right, with that, I'm filling the blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.